Hey guys, so today I have a sketchbook tour for you. I don't fill up sketchbooks very fast, so this one took me about a year. I started it, like actually started it, in April of last year. There were a few drawings before, but I really started it in April. And I just finished it in March. So, basically I took a break with this sketchbook and started using another one, which is why it took me so long to finish. But I came back to it, and I really like the progress I made with this sketchbook. I played around with different mediums, different styles. I couldn't do very many wet mediums because the paper didn't really like it. But I feel like my art style came a long way with this sketchbook. I really started seriously using this sketchbook in December, and most of it was filled up from December to March. And this next page that you're about to see doesn't have anything on it because I had sketched something out, but I never went any further with it, and it's just really faint. Um, there's a lot of faces and poses in this sketchbook because that's what I usually have a hard time drawing, so that's what I was really working on with the sketchbook. This here is one of my favorite pages in the whole thing. I just, I did the blot challenge thing where you put like watercolor or something on the paper and then you let it dry and then you turn it into something and I just really like how they all turned out. Uh, this is a color swatch for some new markers I got just, just to see how they played with each other. I have a lot of swatches in here also because I got a new a lot of new art supplies in the time that I was using this sketchbook. With this sketchbook, there are some things that I drew and other things that are, were cut out and glued in, like these faces and the bear on the left page. Just because I had a lot of graph paper, so while I was at home for Christmas, I was drawing on the graph paper, and then I decided I wanted it in the sketchbook, so I cut it out and glued it in. At this point, we're about a quarter of the way through the sketchbook, and we're already where I started it in December. So you can tell that most of it was filled within the past few months. Like I said, I went to a different sketchbook, and I just take a long time to fill out sketchbooks. So these next few drawings, all the background type ones, I was doing a background challenge. I started it in January, and I have separate videos on each week of that that I will link down below if you want to watch them. Spoiler alert, I did not finish it. I have come to terms that I am really, really bad at finishing 30-day challenges. I just get really busy, and maybe I'll try one when I've got a less busy schedule, but let's be real, will I ever have a less busy schedule? But yeah, so the next few drawings you'll see, minus like the faces and the other things, are from that challenge. My goal with that challenge was to not only work on backgrounds because they're important and I'm a scenic design major, so backgrounds are like what I do, but um, I also wanted to try out different mediums. So that last one was with marker, this one is with powdered charcoal, and I did one with crayons, I did some with pencil, I did some with ink. I used like normal pens, I used dip pens, I was just trying to get a feel for more things and just work on expanding my art repertoire, if you will. This one here is with gouache, which I'm still getting used to. Uh, the right hand page was with a glitter acrylic, I, it's way too thin for me so I ended up giving it to my friend, but uh, this top one didn't turn out exactly as I had hoped but I was just trying to use my liquid watercolors because they have such a vibrant color and, you know, practice is always good. This is another one of my favorite pages. The finished piece that this inspired is actually on watercolor paper, but you can see it in the video for that week. I discovered that I really like the pages where there are studies covering both sides. I really like how they look, and so there will be a lot of those in the rest of the sketchbook. 
I'm sorry that some of these are kind of hard to see. I had filmed this once with better lighting, but the video looked weird when I imported it in. So I had to film it again, and it was stormy and dark, so I had to use my light. And that's why there's weird shadows, and some of them are really hard to see. So about here is when I stopped having a lot of time for the background challenge. So this one on the bottom I really like, but the graveyard one on the left I didn't really put a lot of effort into. Uh, same with the one on the right on this page. I just have a very busy life, as most people do, and I struggle with 30-day challenges. So on this next page, I kind of did a thumbnail of the next few ones because I was going to go further with them, but I never did. This is where I start using the sketchbook for a class project, so that last page was part of it. This was just personal sketching stuff as with this page. I was practicing more faces because like I said, I'm really bad at them. But this goes back to the project. We had to go to a junkyard and create a set with a specific prompt and what we found at the junkyard. And mine was set in ancient Egypt, so hence all the Egyptian stuff. They were time machines, so they had to go from one point in history to another point, either in history, present, or the future. I start using the sketchbook for a lot of projects, so on the left is a fairy door that I had to do for my molding and sculpting class. This was for a sculpture. And then I think for a while we go back to personal sketches and just practicing stuff for me. Again, more faces. Um, I also really like bears, so I was sketching a lot of bears and painting a lot of bears. This here is another project we had to do. Again, I have more sketches, because that's what a sketchbook is for. I really played around with style a lot in this sketchbook. I did some studies of things people had already done. I tried to turn things into my own style from reference. Uh, this bear on the right is inspired by Lee Ellickson, who is on YouTube. I will link her down below if you don't already know who she is, but I love her videos. I also tried to do some things inspired by movies. So there was a Thor Ragnarok page, there was a uh, Pride and Prejudice page, and now we're getting into the section where I kind of, well, not kind of, I definitely took inspiration from James Burke and his sketch flick series, which I will also link down below. It's where he watches a movie and just sketches along as he watches it, so I just did Spirited Away in those last few pages. And in the next few pages after these, I did The King and I, the animated virgin version. And I really like how that works, but I also feel like I'm not a fast sketcher, especially when it comes to faces and bodies. So there were some parts I liked about it, some parts I didn't. I mean, I always love watching movies, so <laughs> that part is going to be great. But yeah, so this is the King and I pages, and this is nearing the end of my sketchbook. So the last page I tried to do a wave study because I always like how waves look. But that is the end of my sketchbook, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye guys!